Amen, family. Good evening once more. This is Miss Norma. This is our reading for October the 14th. And I just wanted to say, you know, I really like the black and white um, uh, picture to record under. It makes me feel like I'm watching TV from way back in the day when we didn't have color TV. All you had was a black and white TV. I know some of y'all remember those days and all, and I remember them too. But that, I just thought about it just now, so I feel like I'm on a, a black and white TV back in the day. Amen. But greetings and hello, everyone. Um, just so thankful and grateful to be here again once more this evening. And um, just really want to say hello and say thank you. And let's have a word of prayer. Abba Father, thank you for today's reading, which I have not read the title yet, Lord, or the scripture lesson, Father. But I just want to come before you, Lord, with my um, TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook family, Instagram, Lord, wherever these videos go, Lord, and Father, the blessing, I pray that they are. I just want to thank you for the time spent here. I thank you for the patience, Lord. I thank you for the longevity of my channel here, Lord, and I thank you, Lord, for being able to use this piece of clay, Lord, Father, that um, you keep using me, and I thank you, Lord. Blessing and healing, Lord, to those of a broken heart, Lord. The Holy Spirit <laughs> has directed that family. Let's pray for those who are, are brokenhearted. I don't know who you all are, um, but the Lord has just impressed me to pray for the brokenhearted this evening. So I thank you, Lord, for those that need to be lifted up. I ask that you would send angels that are needed. Maybe it's a knock out of the door. Maybe it's a visit from a friend. Maybe it's a phone call, Lord. Um, maybe it's to reconnect with a family member. But Abba Father, I ask that you would bless the brokenhearted this evening in prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> Excuse me, family. Our reading for October the 14th is entitled Dreams and God's Leadings. Oh. But he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. Job 23 verse 10 in the Old Testament. When I saw you in church, a dream I had three years ago popped into my mind, Norval said. Later he he shared that he had noted the dream on a pad of paper. The, the dream came after he'd become a widower. He also shared he'd appreciated the help of an attractive young neighbor, one of two women proffering help in meeting the needs of his now orphaned children a 10-year-old son, and a 12-year-old daughter. However, the young neighbor had declined to attend church with him and the family. I had not known in any of this because I had been working in Hinsdale, Illinois, in the hospital medical records. When the current department had shared she would be retiring, the hospital administrator suggested I work to qualify for the position. This required my taking coursework in Danville, a smaller nearby town. After I was accepted, the school director helped me find weekday lodging at the local YMCA. For months, I returned to Hensdale to attend my church and be able to work my Saturday night and Sunday shifts before returning to school. One day, Mrs. McDowell, the medical records department director, encouraged me to attend church in Danville, a small church. They'll welcome you, she said. So on Friday, I stayed put at the YMCA 
And early that Sabbath morning, I took the bus to Danville to the Danville Church. Following the services, many members welcomed me. Among them was Norville A. Jackson and his two children. He helped me with the transportation. Later, he shared with me about his dream and said he believed me to be the fulfillment of his dream as his new spouse and mother to his children. One Sabbath, our local church minister preached on Esther's obedience to God's leading. He read Esther 4.14, Who knoweth whether thou art come into this kingdom for such a time as this? He repeatedly incorporated the verse in his sermon, Reaching My Heart. Norville's family helped plan the wedding, and my physician brother flew from California to give me away. Esther 414 had become my favorite Bible verse. Throughout the ensuing years, the message became a source of comfort to me. Family, my question, the question she asks us, how has God's word comforted you? Amen. And our story today was written by Consuelo. Rhoda Jackson. Amen. It's titled Dreams and God's Leadings. Amen. Amen. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord, for this reading, Lord, of encouragement, Lord. Father, a reading of hope, Lord. Someone will hear this, Lord, and will see an answer to a prayer. Our Lord, maybe just gain peace from a decision that they've made, Lord, and they weren't sure. Lord, you know what you give us in the form of dreams, Abba Father. You know how you speak to our hearts <coughs> in your own unique way. So, Lord, I ask for your blessing and healing, Lord, um, as this reading um, goes out, as it is read by various individuals, Lord, and what it will mean to each one of us individually. So thank you, Abba Father, for this time, this space, this evening. Blessing and healing once more, Lord, to those who are brokenhearted, Lord. And Father, remember, Lord, as well, the sick and shedding among us, Lord, even within our own little circles here on YouTube and TikTok, Lord those who have asked for prayer, Lord, for their family members or for themselves. Thank you this evening, Lord, for leading us and guiding us and directing us in the prayers tonight. Thank you, Abba Father, Lord. And Father, on a personal note, I'd like to thank you for those who have joined the channel, Lord, and left words of encouragement for myself as well. Blessing and healing, Lord, to every family represented here. Peace to their home, to their circumstances. Wherever there is a lack of peace, Lord, I ask that you would send it. Send the angels before them, Lord, and make preparation, Lord. Oh, Father, if they're in the midst of turmoil, Lord, I ask that your presence would manifest, Lord, and bless and give the blessing of peace wherever each one of us are standing. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, family, once more. A blessed good evening, good night to everyone, and remember that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, loves you and me the best and the most and the greatest. Actually, it's all of us. Let everyone that has breath in their body understand and know by your grace, Abba Father, that they are loved more than life itself. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Good night, family. This is Miss Norma signing off. And by his grace, I'll see you again very soon. Amen. I love you.